What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Triple X Chef back in the building. Today, I was gonna come two days ago, but um, when I first purchased it. Today, you know, the last video I talked to you about was uh, the, three, eight, the uh, 38 Special and my Glock 43. But today, I'm coming to you because I got a brand new, brand new, brand new toy. Well, it's not a toy, but be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe down below. All right. Today, I'm going to talk to you today about what I got. This is my Diamondback AR-15. It shoots NATO 5.56 and 223s. 16 inch barrel with the uh, flash hider. Um, it's more that I want to do to this gun. I got the flip up scopes for the front and the rear. Oops. And the rear. I got my red dot sight which I had to zero today when I went to the gun range. Oh, you can see on one of my videos that I have posted. But yeah, this is it's a nice little something, something, something. But this is the Diamondback AR-15. This is what I bought two days ago. But it's a story behind this. It's so, it's kind of, I was at the right place at the right time. So... I went to this gun store. First, I was gonna go to Academy Sports and something said, nah, go to this other gun store. It's called Atlas Firearms. And I went in there, I didn't see any ARs on the wall. So I started asking about, um, do you have any Glocks that shoot 45 caliber? And the guy was like, no, but we have these other ones. It's like a Beretta. I didn't really like it. It was too, too big. So, I said I was really looking for an AR, and then behind me in the office, I can hear the owner say, I just got two in, I didn't get to check them in yet. So, I had said I'll wait while you check them in so I can see them. So, he checked in the first one, which was this, the Diamondback AR-15. So... I love the feel of it. A lot of people say I should change the butt out, but so far I'm liking it. As you can see, it's not loaded. No clip inside, it's empty. The slot, the uh, trigger drawer is, is pulled back. So it's just ready to be loaded. So I was like, yeah, I'll look at it as soon as you uh, get done with it. So when he got done with it, he came out the price for this one was six six sixty nine. That's without the um, flip up scope, the red dot scope, and the rear. So all together, it came with the one clip, right? It came with the one clip. As you can see, I have the two two threes in here because I shot it today. I shot the five five six, but I did. I couldn't stay long because it started pouring down rain in the range. So, and it was like real muddy back up in the woods. It was like on some like, <laughs> how can I say it? Somewhere you don't want to be at night. So, I ended up buying two extra clips, which was like 12 bucks a piece. 30 round shots. The one on the, this one. It's the 223s and the 556 is still in this one. So I didn't really get to shoot all my 556. I reloaded the 223 clip. So a total, I got three clips. All together so far for this gun, it came out to like $820 with the two flip up sights, the scope, the uh, four boxes of bullets. And then yesterday, I went and bought a sling 
for the gun for my AR, which ran me about uh roughly sixteen to eighteen dollars. So it's not bad, but I still also have coming with the this is an M lock M lock rail. So I got an M lock uh grip. It's a small one. So I could either hold it like that or I could put my hand and let it be, you know, a hand rest. And I also have octagon grip for this, to slide over this for a better feeling. And then I have the um the butt filler. Where you, it's a butt plug where you can put it in for the butt. And from Amazon, the butt plug was like seven bucks. Uh, the grip part, the ox, ox, octagon grip part is like eight bucks. And then um, the little forearm grip is about 13 bucks. So altogether, I spent less than $900 to get this weapon. So I took a shooting today, and I like it, but I had to get my sights zeroed out. So where we went, they had the rifle section, the handgun section, then they had a section where you could go zero, zero out your uh, sights. These flip up, you know, you can't really see it but it's got like a red dot or a green dot. It's green now. And then you got red, it's red, green, and blue. That's blue probably, yeah. You can see the blue. Then there's the red. Each one has like three stages to make it, you know, from dim to bright to uh, from real dim, medium to bright. But yeah, I like this gun. This is the Diamondback AR-15. I spent less than 900 bucks already of what the, with the attachments that I put in. Um, I'm thinking about making a few more changes. I love the M-Lock rail. It's nice. I was thinking about going with a shorter barrel because I don't really like it too long. I like it probably if they have a 10 inch barrel where I can drop it back here it'll be fine I also got the uh, flash hider that came with it I don't know if I'll change that out so far everything on the gun I like I'm enjoying it this is my first AR but it probably won't be my last but um I'm liking it you know Got the little 30 round mag. I'm gonna see if I can get like a 100 round drum for it. You know, I'm not gonna put it in because it's loaded. Got my sling. Probably probably will change out the red dot sight. I done threw the dag on. Oh, it's called NC Star. This is an NC Star. I guess that's the name of the company. But I got my own um, where I can set the two knobs. Here and here, where I can uh, adjust it to go right or left, or up and down to where I got it. Well, I got it where I need it now, because I done tested it out. Um, but yeah, this is a good assault rifle. I need it. I never thought I would actually have one, you know, being that I came from New York. Being that I came from New York, um. I'm really enjoying it. My wife got to shoot it, and uh, it was funny. The look on her face when it when it uh, kicked back, it was funny. But she she held it down, and she can see she just walked across my shadow. But this is the uh, Diamondback AR-15. I enjoy it. Once again, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thanks. Triple X Chef out.